Ken Allison with IDI, and I just want to welcome you back to our high performance home, the home that we started earlier in the year. As you can tell, the leaves have fallen. It's winter time now, cold starting to set in, and good thing we've got the house buttoned up. We've got the windows in or our fenestrations are in. You can even see here where on some of the windows, we're now going and insulating in between where the windows have been set and the studs or the framing members that they're set into. Also, we finished up a lot of the rest of the house. As we start to look over here, you can see in the corner, we finished that out with spray foam in this dead space that we've got here in the corner of the, the room that we're in. And then as we get to the outside wall, we actually now have that same spray foam that you see right here behind fiberglass insulation. It's known as what's called a flash and bat. And all a flash and bat is, is where we've gone to the outside with an air impermeable insulation. That's a solid, hard foam insulation. It's two pound high density foam. On top of that, we're placing fiberglass insulation with, you can see it here, there's a fabric that holds in what we call net and blow insulation. So there's actually netting here. You can see Owens Corning's netting with their fiberglass behind it. And then on top of that, what we actually have is certain teeds membrane. And what this is, is a smart vapor barrier. That allows the vapor in the wall to come back out into the room. So that if we did have moisture buildup within the wall, it wouldn't be trapped in there. It would actually still be able to come out. Had we covered this with poly, we might actually have a problem because of the fact that we have the spray foam insulation to the outside. Now, the main reason why that spray foams to the outside is really to glue everything together to keep the vapor outside. And then as we come to the inside, this really, because if you remember on the outside, we have our continuous insulation on the outside, that pink foam board that we had. As we come to the inside, the insulation in here really is less for insulation and more about sound attenuation. Think of it like this. You can hear them as they nail on the outside of the building. You could hear it as I hit the stud. Well, that closed cell insulation, when I said it was hard, it really is. It has very little sound attenuation. This fiberglass that we've put in the walls, and also I want to show you towards the ceiling, because as we look up there, you will also notice that we have fiberglass in there that will give us great sound attenuation as well. One more thing on the sound attenuation I did want to show you, and that is before the sheet rocks on, before anything's been done to this wall, as you can tell, they have already netted this and they'll go ahead and do the other side. This way, all of the rooms in this house, if you look around on this floor, you're gonna notice every bathroom, every bedroom, every wall has sound attenuation. This is great when you start thinking about the ability to separate one room from, from another. You have relatives over, you have a home theater next to a bedroom, things like that. These are the things that we wanna do that really upgrade a house and make it better. As a builder, these are the things that you want to be showing your customers because they separate one house from another in the end.